Welcome to an example of a direct proof. To prove the implication if P then Q is true by direct proof, we assume P is true, we explain, 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 and therefore Q is true. A direct proof takes the form of if P then Q. For example, we will prove for all integers A, B, and C, if A divides B and B divides C, then A divides C. In this case, we read the vertical bar as divides. Here, X divides Y means that Y is a multiple of X, and that x will divide into y without a remainder. To begin the proof, we assume that p is true, which means we begin by letting a, b, and c be integers, and assume a divides b and b divides c. In other words, b is a multiple of a, and c is a multiple of b. So there are integers k and j, such that b is equal to k times a, because b is a multiple of a, and c is equal to j times b, because c is a multiple of b. Combining these two equations through substitution, we can form the equation c equals j times the product of k and a. Notice to form this equation, we use the equation c equals j times b and substitute k times a for b. We can also write c as just j times k times a, which is equal to the product of j and k times a. Since j times k is an integer, and c is equal to the product of j and k times a, c is a multiple of a. And this is what we needed to show, therefore a divides c, and the proof is complete. I hope you found this helpful.